Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we are going to study the concept of area. Now, area has to do with covering. If you're thinking about an area of a figure, you have to think how much area, how much ground does it cover? And area is always measured in squares of some size. Here's some example squares. They are not drawn to scale, but if I had a square where the side was one meter, one meter and one meter, then we call it a one square meter. This square is one square meter. This square, if its sides are one centimeter, then it is called one square centimeter. And uh, this little two here indicates the squaring, indicates that we have like gone like centimeter times centimeter, centimeter squared, so to speak. Here, if we have a one inch and one inch side, then the square has the area of one square inch. You can write it as one SQIN. Or you could also use it, you could also write it one inch squared or square inch. Now, here's a rectangle. And uh, if its side is measured in some units, Let's say centimeters. I can count how many centimeters are here. One, two, three, four, five, right? This side is five centimeters long. Here's one centimeter, another, third, fourth, and fifth. And this side here is one, two, and three centimeters. This side is three centimeters long, and this is five centimeters long. I can now draw squares into this rectangle. like this. These lines here. Okay, now it's divided into squares. And this is, here is one centimeter and one centimeter. Then this square here is one square centimeter, right? Each one of these is a one square centimeter and we can use multiplication to find the total number. Five times three gives us 15. So the area of this is 15 these kinds of squares, and they were square centimeters. This is the crucial idea that students need to grasp, that area of a rectangle, you can just multiply the sides. And the reason you multiply the sides has to do with these uh, little squares that are formed inside it, like a grid, if you draw these lines at every centimeter, or every whatever unit is. Here's another rectangle. Let's say that this side is one inch. Here, this here. And then this way is one, two, three, four inches, right? By the way, some children count these little lines and say that it is three inches. Or they count from here and go one, two, three, four, five and say it's five inches. But no, you have to think of them like a unit of measuring measurement, an inch like this. One, two, three, four. Four inches long. And if I draw these, we can see how many squares there are. One, two, three, four. Four square units. The area is four square units. And you could also multiply one times four. If your shape, your figure is not a rectangle, the area is still calculated in using little squares. But usually, when you're first starting to study area, like in fourth grade maybe, uh, students don't do anything but rectangles. But um, even if it was a triangle, it would still be calculated in little squares. You know, like this. Or even teeny, teenier ones, you know. Maybe square millimeters. Or if it was like this, it is still, the area is still based on figuring out how many little squares will there be. And of course, there might be fractional squares, you know, not the whole square, but and, uh, the area of this kind of shape might only be approximated. Now, let's draw a square with an area of 36 square centimeters. A square. Okay, you need to keep in mind that the square, its two sides are the same. And we are given the area. But if you want to draw the square, what do you need to know? You want to draw a square, so you need to know how long is the side of the square, right? And let me take my ruler. 
Okay, I have my ruler now. And um, thinking of the square, I need to think that the side times side will be 36. What number times itself gives 36? You probably know that it is 6. 6 times 6 is 36. So the 36 being the area, 6 must be the side, or 6 centimeters. Now I can draw it the best I can. There is my square. In this problem, A equals 54 square meters means that the area of this rectangle is 54 square meters. This side is 9 meters. The question is, how long is this side? Again, we need to think of multiplication, because multiplication gives us the area. If I multiply this times this, I get the area. Okay, so what number here? This is our unknown side. What number times 9 is 54? The answer is, of course, 6. 6 meters. But students need to remember and think that they don't multiply these two numbers. Okay? The area is already given. It is this times this gives us the area. Lastly, I wanted to explore the area of these kind of irregular shapes. Here's an L shape and here's some funny shape. And... Um, the way we do this is we divide these into rectangles and then we can find the area by adding the, adding the areas of the rectangles. Okay, if you have this kind of L shape, you can divide it into two rectangles in two different ways actually. One way is here. So now you have a rectangle here and another here. The other way would be this way. Both ways are just fine. It depends on what kind of side length you are given in your problem as to which way you want to divide it. And here I drew something a little bit more complex and uh, here you have still more ways to divide it into rectangles. For example this way, let's try this way. I have one, two, three different rectangles and now I calculate the areas of the rectangles first. And um, this first rectangle here is easy, its side lengths are given, it's three and 7. So its area is 3 times 7, or 21, I'll write it here, 21 square units. This here, you don't know either one, either side. Now this last one here is easy again because there's 3 units here and 4 here. So we can go 3 times 4 is 12. The area of that rectangle is 12 square units. But now the last one that we don't know, this one here, um, you need to use some figuring. How long would this side be here? This here. It's not 9 even though the 9 is next to it. 9 is this whole thing here. Okay. Think of the whole length here and take away this and this. This one right here is 3. This one also is 3. I'm going to erase that. Okay. So this also must be 3 so that the whole thing is 9, right? So we found that out. And then this side here. Again, we need to look at the other rectangles on their sides and subtract. Um, this side here is 4. And then this side here is 2. It's given to us. So this side here must be 4 minus 2 or, or 2. Now we can multiply 2 times 3 is 6 square units for the area of that. So in total, there's 12 and 6 is 18. And then 21, so that is areas 39 square units.